Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with oh god, morning chit chat, and this phone case is not cooperating with me, so it is definitely getting ready to get get gone. In the words of Country Wayne, get get gone. It's going to get get gone. I can't take it. Okay, I know it was a dollar, but guess what? I've wasted more things on a dollar than this, okay? Oh, God. I need to put it back in this packaging and take it back to the dollar store and get me something else for a dollar. Now I see why it winded up in the dollar store. Ah, close out. Close out. Close out. It was close out because nobody was buying it. Oh, God. <laughs> but here comes Miss Natalie. And where? The Dollar Tree. Oh, wow. Look at this case. Sucker. <laughs> it's not working for me. It's not working for me. It's not working in my phone holder. And if I drop you guys, you already know I'm going to keep it rolling if I do, okay? So... Now that we got that straight, it is Monday, Monday, April the 11th, and it's getting so close to my birthday. I know somebody said, my God, you got two weeks or more before your birthday. Yes, but we're celebrating the whole month, remember, for my birthday. So anyway... I just got a public service announcement. Y'all need to stop what you're doing. Stop everything right now. Stop. Stop. I just want you to know, if you don't know what Skinty looks like, look, this is Skinty right here, okay? This is the new face of Skinty. Yes. I'm down another pound this week. I wish it was more, but guess what? I am happy for a pound, okay? Because it could have been on the gain side. <laughs> so I am happy for that pound. It just means I got to work a little bit harder, push a little bit more, be more, make healthier choices, wiser choices, prepare myself more, prep myself more. So yeah, that is what I got to do. So yeah, that's what my plans are. And um, yeah, I'm skinty. You ain't going to tell me I ain't skinny, because guess what? We're going to have to fight if you say I ain't skinny right now, okay? We got to fight. I don't think you want to fight. Mm -mm, you don't want to fight. Oh, <laughs> God. Like my, <laughs> my other grandbaby grandma told me, say, she told her aunt, who's, she's a teenager, she's probably about 14, maybe 15, she told her, she say, you want to fight? You sure you want to fight? I said, oh, my God. I don't even want to get her back right now because I hate that. I don't want to fight with her. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's going to ask her, you sure you want to fight? I said, oh my goodness. What is wrong with that girl? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so she got some fight in her. So anyway, I'm just missing you guys. But um, the Ward Jeanette family done wonderful this week. I lost one pound. Derek lost two pounds. So, yeah. So, that was good. We both lost. Nobody gained. Nobody stayed at a plateau. But I guess even a plateau is better than a gain. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yes, it is. So, yeah. So, I'm I'm happy with our results. And, yeah, we're just going to keep pushing and keep concentrating on... Um, We're going to keep concentrating on what, what is what, what is what, 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 what. <laughs> keep, keep ourselves motivated and keep pushing, yeah. And, you know, we just learned that, you know, and even Derek said it yesterday, he is really getting into this thing with the points and counting and how many points he had and, you know, what's the best meal plan for him. And I am so proud of him, you guys. I mean, very proud of him. Because he's thinking more consciously about it. And I was at the sink. I was washing dishes after we had weighed in. And we were calculating, you know, the weight. And then he said what he weighed on the scale. I said, well, I think that's two pounds you lost. Because he was thinking 
he wasn't for sure. He don't keep up with him. With me, but I got it wrote down. So I went and put it in the book. I said, yeah, you lost two pounds exact. And when I turned around, he had like this smile on his face. And it was like, he was just so happy with himself. Because he has been struggling with trying to lose weight. And just gaining weight over the years. And as his health started to fail, it really made it harder for him to lose weight and be active and everything. So... You know, just now that he's just been coming down some, and it's not much with small steps, but guess what? By the end of the year, it will add up to a whole lot, you know? So you got to look at the big picture, but he was just happy with himself and that. And so I'm so proud of him. Just like I be trying to um, pack some things for him that he can take out because they're going on a job today where um, he has a job where he's got to do some concrete work some kind of construction work. I think it's concrete today. I don't know what they be doing. They brick, his specialty is brick masonry. But he will do pouring concrete and, you know, doing driveways and all the construction stuff they do. He, he does that kind of stuff too. That's what his company do. So, anywho, we, um, anyway, I was packing him because he didn't have time for lunch because he had to get, I mean, breakfast. I was trying to pack him breakfast which I did, and he said, put mine in a plastic bowl, he's going to take it with him, but then I was trying to pack some little snacks and extra water, he's like, no, I don't need that, because I'll be eating back to the house for lunch, and I'm like, that means he's not going to be eating out with the rest of the guys, he is thinking positive, and then even last night, he was sitting there thinking, he said, you know what, it seems like turkey's our best friend, because we can have more turkey breasts, meat that he can get full off of I mean actually full off of it and it's not many points like three ounces of that turkey breast tenderloin is only one point and it is delicious it's tasty and yeah so that is my plan is to um keep those things in the house we're going to switch over we're going to basically do turkey majority turkey because we can have more for our butt bang for our buck and we'll have chicken chicken breast um, most definitely is not a bad choice and we will have um, you know like beef and maybe pork maybe one time a week maybe you know pork on occasions we're trying to cut pork totally out but beef maybe at least one time a week beef but the rest of it is going to be chicken oh and he even loved the salmon so it's going to be chicken salmon and turkey because those were the lowest 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 points that we can have and then the veggies you know just getting into cooking vegetables and he is enjoying all of them i want to do some different ones but it seems like i'm sticking with the same thing like either cabbage or zucchini and squash and you know i know we can do a salad or something like that with that but like different types of veggie things that we could do to maybe spice it up so yeah, I'm going to start exploring and looking at recipes and stuff like that. So, yeah, I am so happy and so, you know, excited, excited, excited about what's going on. That he's on board with me. It makes it better when you work as a team. And, yeah, so I am just so glad because sometimes when I feel like um, I want to do wrong, I can hear him right now. How many points is that? And that I, so I'll be like, okay, maybe I won't. Yeah, so I know that sometimes when I just want to be lazy and not do anything, then I know I can't because I got to look out for him as well. So, yeah, so I say, okay, let me do something healthy, not a sandwich and go to bed. I got to give him something that's going to hold him over, that's going to make him feel like he wants to get up and munch and all of that. So, yeah, and then I make sure I keep healthy items on board, just like today I got to go to the grocery store and get some oranges and little tangerine. I gotta go to Aldi. So I'm gonna pick up some fruit from Aldi's um and everything so that we can um I can keep that readily accessible. While I was out couponing yesterday when I came back. He was sitting there I said, what are you doing? He was like I'm peeling I peeling the orange. You know because one way he had the trash can sitting in the living room the trash can in the living room. Well by his desk. And he was like he was um he had peeled the orange. I'm like, yeah, he's snacking on healthy things. Yeah, so that's what I do. And um excited to see where we go at. Shopping. Let's go to shopping. Like white chicks. Huh? Um, Target is the place to be if you have those Target 
hang tags as well as the PNG if you haven't used all your PNGs for the Febreze products. Working out to be a great deal. Um, my girl Shijin32, uh, I was telling her about the deal and when she got in the store she figured out an even better deal than the one I had did instead of getting the Febreze noticeables. If you don't want those you can get the car clip and come out even cheaper with the car clip. I think paying two dollars and something cents for um, the ten items. You know, after rolling a ten dollar gift card if you have it. So yeah, getting your ten dollars back and you're paying two dollars and some change out of pocket after using your red card. Um, using the BOGO for the BOGO coupons. Using four, yeah, four of the dollar off two target hang tags and using two either two to two dollar off of two for the noticeables or um two of the 20 cent off clips car clips and the car clips are cheaper than the noticeables so that's why it come out cheaper but um i don't know i think i'm gonna do noticeables because i like those and i like plugging them in all around the house so that's why I, I do noticeables, and I do use the car clip as well, too. Mine dried up right now. I need to put another one in. So, yeah, I can do either or of those because both of them, yeah. But I'm going to see what I can find here. I might have to wait and go in my town and do it because it didn't seem like too many people are, were interested in them. Because I even went yesterday and found some more hand tags hanging. I'm like, maybe they're not interested in these things. But I'm like, well, I, I am. So... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to um, I'm going to do that and replenish my Febreze stockpile back up. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and Rite Aid, I got to finish out my spin for points, spring for points, spring for points um, deal today, which I think I'm going to get 10 more Clorox, and that'll be all of my coupons, and then I'll get... I get. Oh, and then I saw where Social Girl Shape found some spin toothbrushes on clearance with $2 pillies on them. I probably won't look up and find anything like that. But I'm going to look. <laughs> Believe me. Hey, I'm going to look. <laughs> so I'm going to look for that. And then, um, oh, the Tampax. I got a girl who, um, Wants to start ordering from me once a month, getting supplies from her house. Oops, sorry. See, I told y'all that flat was a nuisance. It's trying to cover up all this skintiness. What is wrong with it? <laughs> Get back, flat. Get back. <laughs> it's messing. But, um, ooh, sorry. But um, the Tampax is buy one, get one 50% off. We have a dollar off of one coupon. I think when you get finished, you're going to wind up paying like a dollar and some change. I saw it on Michelle's Frugal Living's video. Um, I think it's a dollar and some change, maybe one seventy-five. dollars So not a bad deal for that. Um, I don't, I really, I'm just getting them because that's the kind she wanted. I'm trying to tell her what I got. And she's like, no, I only can use Tampax. I'm like, sound like somebody old grandma <laughs> you know Tim Pex was out at the beginning of time the first ones you got so that's why I feel like she just wanted those but anyway whatever you want I aim to please you sweetheart okay if I can get it for a reasonable deal to resell to you at a decent price then yeah I'll do that okay Especially if I can still make a little money off of it and not kill you or beat you over the head. Because I most definitely don't do that. You know I don't do it. If um, I don't do it. My prices are very cheap. I told you my brother and his fiance um, does the flea market on the weekends. And she was like, your stuff is way cheaper than theirs. And she said, they, their prices be high out there. So, yeah. I ain't trying to beat nobody over the head. Because I know I didn't pay too much for it. I try not to pay too much for anything. And if I feel like I can't get it a decent deal for reselling them, no. My goal is not to really do yard sales or pulling stuff out. I want to get some personal people who want to buy every month or once a week or every two weeks from me. That's what I want to build up to. Because I ain't, I'm too lazy to be dragging stuff out. 
that's how my lazy is set up, okay? I'm just telling y'all the honest to God truth. My lazy is set up that way. And, yeah, so that was my ambition. So, anyway, I'm going to get off here for now. And, as always, y'all already know what to do. What y'all going to do? What you going to do today? You're going to do what? Give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking you up this morning. Starting you on your way. Giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to be able to get it right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.